reality. Because people don't want to spend the energy of trying to be creative enough to create positive ads. That's why they say that. Well, it is funny. I mean, after all this time, I mean, I, how many times a day do you hear 999? It's not just me that says it, I'm sure. Right. And what I'm saying is, the reason that they say that it works is because sometimes it does, but they don't keep track of the times that it doesn't work, Sean. They don't keep track of the times that it doesn't work. Look at all we candidates that have lost because they went down that road, and they still lost. They only tell you that because of the few instances where the negative advertising works. I don't think negative advertising is going to get Ted Cruz the nomination in this case. Because Let me ask this here, question. Let's, I let's, let's just put aside this. They're yeah. not they're, they're not buying that stuff this time. I also think that people want an outsider, and that was evidenced on Tuesday night. That was one of the number one questions, and yes. Indiana will weigh in next. Here's what I've been saying. No one person. You ran what? Godfather's Pizza. You were a yeah. top executive at Pepsi. What other big companies did you run? Top executive at, uh, I was worked for Coca-Cola. I worked, oh. I was an executive with the Pillsbury Company. Burger that's King Corporation, yes. Oh, and, so I got it wrong. Boy, that's almost sacrilegious if you work for Coke and I said Pepsi, jeez. That's why I, I had to correct you, okay? You had to, of I course you had to correct me. I'm sorry I don't have your, your, your resume against that. That's my mind. That's me calling you Shane, okay? Yeah, yeah, oh, do you, you say so? Them. Okay. No, not exactly, but here's my question. We have people like Herman Cain out there, and Ben yeah. Carson out there, and Rick Perry out there, and John Kasich out there, and Scott Walker, and Nikki Haley, and Bobby Jindal, and, and all of these great, you know, Newt Gingrich, Rudy Giuliani. Why do I think that, you know, no one president can run a, a the country. You need a team around you. You can't do a great radio show if right. you don't have P.D. Spriggs and, and all the people that work for you. Yes. So, and it's the same with me and my radio and television show. Yes. Don't you think a united, uh, sort of like the united stars of the Republican Party and conservative movement, if they unite together, we could actually really save this country? We or am I, or am I living country. in a fantasy world? Absolutely. No, you're not in a fantasy world. If you look at the 17 people that started out in the Republican primary race, there is a lot of talent there that's been out there campaigning. If whoever the nominee is doesn't tap into that, I think it would be a mistake. Secondly, you have a lot of conservative, very talented people wanting to serve this country. They just have to be smart enough to surround themselves with some of those people, not necessarily political opportunities, because that's been the problem. I think no. that we have a humongous opportunity. This is why I go back to my first point. Those people that are part of the Never Trump or the anti-Trump campaign, they are doing a disservice to the Republican Party, and they are doing a disservice to the United States of America, because this is critical. It really is, isn't it? It's, it's far more severe. Um, yeah. All right, have you seen our friend Wartz lately? 